Hello again, it's me Corbex. Um, last time I showed you the sort of door system where I've been playing around with redstone again. Uh, I've been playing around again sort of thing just to see stuff working. I think this is sort of... I'm going to show you a few examples just to see how things work. The idea is I'm going to use these pistons here as sort of blocks. Obviously they block the circuit so... And then I'm going to use like different buttons so you have to use more than one to obviously operate the circuit. As you can see there, that will open it and clear the block out of the way. This is, one, in the next example, I'll change it. In the next one, you clear that one out. And uh, this is the final time, obviously, the bit is clear. Over This is my current example. I've used three, but I'll show you sort of some of the designs to make. Here is the inverted one. So if you want to look at this, all it is is when you press the button, it will invert it and delay the inverter. So it has enough time to sort of make an action. Without the repeaters, maybe if I just take them out now and then put it back on, you'll see the piston on the end will just go up and down like that. But if you want to delay it, this is all I've done is just put that. And that's the design there, obviously, you can screenshot that there if you want to sort of use it. So if I press it again, it should have more of a delay as you can see, they take it in turns to shut. So, and obviously, the normal ones is the same sort of thing, except for just without that. And I've, I've added this sort of repeater here so it keeps the block up on the end on for a little bit longer. And that's all the sort of circuits I'm using mostly over here. But as you can see, I've used, as the example over here, that I put a combination on here. So you have to press 1, so when you go over here, you press 1, and that will move this circuit here, what will move the block out of the way. So if I just show you what's under there, and that's just a bit under there. So that will move that out of the way. What will allow the circuit here if you press number 2 next to activate this we'll follow along here, invert it again what will clear the way for number 3, so you press number 3 and 3 will come over here and clear the way for number 2, so you press number 2 again number 2 will clear number 1 and the 1 circuit will go up and light the TNT as you can see I've already tried it out and it has been working already so I've put some pressure plates on here just to show you it's a bit easier to use so if I go 1, 2, 3 and then back again wait, 1 two, three, and back again. Just like that. Obviously it's probably a bit complex to see like that. As you can see, that has lit the TNT. But that's the sort of system I'm trying to get at. Obviously maybe it looks a bit messy, but obviously you can try it out. It's just using more pistons or more redstone to make an action. So as I showed you over over that example, that small example, one and two buttons, this just has three. So when you press number 1, as you can see if I hold it on here, it's cleared the way for number 2. So if I put sink on, it's actually wooden. So if I get a wooden pressure plate, this might be the best way to show you. So if I get a wooden pressure plate, no, not TNT. And as you can see, that's cleared the way for number 2. So then, obviously, let's put sink back on here. So I've got all of them down. That hasn't put anything on, has it? Oh, this is my mistake. Sorry about that. As you can see, that's cleared that. <laughs> I've collected everything. Maybe I should fly up. And then finally, just put sink on. Oh, damn it. Clicked. And as you can see, that's lit all of them up. But without number two, obviously, that will close it up. And even if you have one and three, obviously that hasn't cleared the way for it working. Or if I have two and three, so if I put sync on there, I've got the two going. Obviously by the time the one has gone off, to obviously I put some repeaters in here. It's just a way of using multiple repeaters to create a sort of sequence. But you could use this if you got it wrong. Say if you opened one, three, that could join up and then maybe put like a TNT in the middle so you could even make it lock instead of using the um, pistons like here obviously sticky pistons they retreat back so you can try again as you can see over here you could have it where it could push a block in the way so after an amount of times you could have it push a block one space more one space more and after three spaces once the block's pushed it could block the circuit so you could have it so three tries and that's it blocked but obviously I'm trying to show you the example so obviously you can go around and play it yourself. You can always put every um, 
reply to this video if you want to show me anything you've used for these techniques. I think it's pretty good and it's something I've just sort of come up with, I don't think yeah, I've seen it before. So there we go again, hopefully that's explained it, I'll just go over these and show you this sort of very simple sort of thing again, obviously you can see that. You can pause the screen and then copy the design. Obviously, you can make it probably a bit slightly smaller than mine. But that's mostly what I've used. As I've shown you, you just put a hole in the ground. This was a really old video where I made that sort of thing. I found out that obviously works where you can block it up. So there we are. Okay. Okay, again, thanks for watching. I shall see you another time. I'll see if I can make some more sort of good examples of these. I'll see if I can make that simpler. And I'll see what else cool stuff I can make with it. And see ya. Thank you.